Hey, good morning. So we are starting a new series of Walk With Me. And ooh, and I am turned turning the camera around for this one. Uh, this one is a new journey, a new, a new phase. And I commit it to 12 weeks in a private group. And so if you're new here, I had first committed to 12 weeks in a private group that I worked with and I started to do some uh, some walk with me and some journaling and good morning and some talking through while I walked and uh, I invited people into you know stepping into a commitment of of peering my own thoughts and my own minds and where I my own mind and where I've been and uh, where I want to go and so the things that I've noticed and that's one of the big things as a life coach is that we work on or self-actualization coach and in self-actualization and achieving our highest sense of divine <laughs> good morning of divine intention or divine um, uh, living by our divine design purpose and not trying to seek out the so-called purpose that we think we should be searching for but just trusting and so that was that's a part of it is really starting to notice the areas of our lives or noticing the places where we have to put the work in ourselves and starting from the beginning knowing that there's an end but the problem is is that we get so focused on the end instead of the beginning and so if we focus on the end we neglect to look at all the things that keep us from succeeding to get to the end and so we have to start with where do I have what do I what do I have to pay attention to what do I, where do I have to put my focus and so today um, we're in series three as I woke up and I thought okay well I've done 24 I have now completed 24 of these walks and gaining clarity cleaning up uh, doing taking actions what do I need to do and I've walked 24 of these plus extras but 24 that I've recorded and along the way I keep finding rocks and of the sylvan like rocks and and finding little treasures and finding finding my treasures even in even in the most challenging of times and the challenging of relationships and and being free and so as I just started my walk this morning I noticed someone had taken a a sylvan like rock and had not placed it for someone to really find it was just kind of it's like they threw it it's like they found it and they threw it away without regard for for the artistry or for the work that went in and that's a, a big part of that journey and so today I actually started thinking how will I do this and what do I commit to now and what, what action am I going to take and what dedication and devotion do I make into walking another 12 with you. So I decided to take one of my cards and I said, I'm not going to choose the first card. I'm going to shuffle. Well, I end up shuffling and got the first card. So I laughed <laughs> and the first card that it pulled, it's in, I'll take it out in a second, was purity and it's zero. And it's the beginning again, wholeness. And I laughed and I thought, of course, divine plan, not Corey plan. And, uh, and so the rock that I had found was free Britney. <laughs> so Britney Spears, I've always wanted you to have one of my books. I think I can help you here. <laughs> but, but free Britney. And it's funny because I just, I have been creating, I've been painting out, you know, emotions and finding ways to an outlet to use my emotions when they rise, not in a negative, but in a positive. And how can I take those emotions and put them to use instead of, you know, just saying, just let them go. How can I put them to use and make them something that's positive? So I started painting, never painted. And I called in my highest, I called in my soul to tell me to bring forth when I might have been a painter in another lifetime and bring it forth. And the girl actually has blonde hair and a red outfit. Well, anyone who knows me knows my love of red. And so Free Britney was actually that whole essence of what that really represents is freeing 
the person or the creation of what somebody else creates. Create it from flesh, not create it from heart. And, and when it's created from heart and it's created from self, it has a more pure and authentic self. When it's created from, from somebody else's creation and somebody else's story or your desire to, to feel like you have to have that addiction to being something or somebody is that you get created, good morning, <laughs> is that you get created into that sense of you're not truest of self. And so the card, the free Britney rock, so to whoever painted this, great work. <laughs> and free Britney, uh, I'll also hashtag free Britney in this, uh, <laughs> because it's so much, it represents so much of the first card. And I'm going to pull the first card for you out of my out of my bra in a moment here and I just got to find a place to put the rock because we have to leave that behind now because the purest of things that I've done in this past 24 weeks that I've been walking with you and walking with the other group that I first start walking with privately and then decided to expose it some more was that uh, I'm gonna leave it right here on this bench I think it deserves to be sitting up properly And I always say that about celebrities and characters is, or mus- musicians and stuff is that you don't know them. You, see, you, you, know, you may idolize yourself to be like that, but that's not them. It's just like, just like me channeling, it's not me, right? When I channel, it's not Corey. And these moments and these walks and stuff are very authentic because they're they're the real me. <laughs> they're the real Corey. It's like we are everyday people with everyday conflicts and some of the the greatest of lights and the greatest of of uh, the greatest of leaders and teachers and spiritual people also have the greatest conflict and the greatest challenges and and to not to have any desire to any longer pass it on, we start to become the discoverer of us and that's the biggest thing that we do and that's how the cards started my cards was that I had to go within deep to look at my own attitude (laughs) my own things and find my way and to see that you can put a pretty face my cards are not they don't look dark but it takes you to some of your dark places you don't realize that your attitude is coming out when you are in telling yourself the the negative stories about other people or about yourself and and you're you know it's one thing to know that it happened but not to let it own you uh, and so the free Britney rock was perfect because it was blonde hair red clothes rooted which also represents the root chakra and when you're grounded and rooted in the ancestor stories when you are so determined to hold on sometimes you know and I, I teach this often is you know, we teach about ground you, earth you, stay right here on earth. Sometimes you need to fucking fly. <laughs> Sometimes you need to untether, untie yourself from those stories and let yourself fly. But when you know you're trapped and the world sees you as living a glamorous life or a beautiful life and you realize and inside you're the saddest, <laughs> you know, you're living your sadness because it's not the, the passion of what you loved. The passion of what you really loved then turned into a job and when it turned into a job and then it turned into expectations and then when it turned away from you seeing less and less of you and more and more of what people wanted you to be or more and more of what people thought you should be there's a deep sadness that comes because passion was about the purity of your heart and so our card <laughs> Our card that came out as I shuffled, just saying I wanted a random card, was purity. And it's zero, it's wholeness, it's the very first card of the deck. Now it wasn't the first card created because this was a hard one to get to. Uh, And when you're piercing through veils, so piercing through your own unhealthy ego self and into a self, into a, the sense of your highest self or the highest, you know, what is of my highest good, what is of, I used to always ask, what do I want? 
And then I start to ask, what does God want? And when you recognize what God really means, good morning. When you recognize what God really means inside of you and with you and living with that, that, that sense of consciousness, a sense of consciousness, not what you feed it, not what you feed your mind, your subconscious, but your consciousness. God exists in there. And so from that place, and this card was so hard to create. And when I first start talking about her, I start talking about the spirit that was behind her here and holding her. And you see another blonde haired girl, but she went from red to white. So when we picked up the Brittany rock, <laughs> she was in a red outfit. The girl I painted was in a red outfit with blonde hair. Do you know what I called her? The joke. She's the joke. She's the one everyone joked about, people made fun of, laughed at for who she was and what she was trying to do. And so she, so I took this beautiful painting and I started to paint her more of her, more of her drag queen self, which I actually really like. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I love my drag queen friends. <laughs> and and so that more, you know, that, that, that being able to be that imposter to self by choice, right? It's like what she chooses. But sometimes it's not by choice. Sometimes it's because you're, you're, you're sabotaging that fierce of person of you. So from the root all the way to the spirit, to the crown chakra. And so when we start to pierce those veils, when we start to come back into a pierced of thought, and stop saying, what do I want? And we ask ourselves, what does God want? In other words, AKA, what is of my highest good? Is what I'm about to do of my highest good? How is this serving my highest good? How is this serving my needs? And so purity is the rebirth. And that's, I have freed all versions of, previous versions of me, and I have freed all people of my life that I've held accountable or I've held you know at some regard in my life even those that were great in my life or that I deeply loved only those that are of my highest good and my and in the highest regard of love and light do I have room for in my life I got to show you just what we just found as we spoke about this another rock <laughs> another rock embedded into a tree so for my Sylvan Lake rock people, I found another rock. See, a black heart. And so along this journey, I've I shed a lot of what I call black tears. Because purity, pure thought, pure intention, is it's the return to when you're living a whole life is 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 of the a clear heart. And clarity comes when you clear your heart. And so this was the beginning. So this one, this card really truly represents so much more. It is wholeness. It is, it is um, a return to truth. But it's also knowing that your flesh self, your human self, will not be here. Your flesh self will have these experiences, these moments, because it's still new. It'll have a new day, a new experience, a new relationship that'll show up. The soul self that exists within us, that is, you know, holding us all the time will say, you know what, there's three stages. So there'll be the you that would have previous experienced and you'll trust your intuition and you'll know. There'll be the you that is tempted because you still have ego, which you can't remove, like it's impossible, that will still need to be nurtured and loved when it knows it has done something that is not in alignment because you're going to do it. And then there is your true, true self that says, after, what did you learn from that? We're putting it in a new spot now. Putting it in this little tree right here. We're gonna stick it right there. We're gonna leave it for somebody else. We walked it along the path. So we blessed it a little bit. So hopefully the next person that sees it, picks it up, maybe just what they need today. Uh, and so that, that purest of heart, is, it, is your intentions pure? And even if your intentions are pure, sometimes we're blindsided by the unpure intentions of somebody else. 
and that's where that's where deceit comes in because everybody has free will choice so no matter how pure your intentions your thought it'll still you'll still be living in the flesh and the heart will be as pure as it can be and I said I've cried black tears because of of old sadness because of repeated patterns because of you know the the deep seated hurts that you never got to cry when you're told stop crying <laughs> don't cry crying is for crying is for wimps right like those type of things and then when you finally realize you're not a wimp when you finally realize if you know that you were stronger than you thought you start to cry out everything that you didn't want to cry out which then starts to purify the heart so purity of your heart is the one thing purity of the soul is of greatness and that level of greatness is a part of what we strive for part of what we want to be part of what we want to exist within but it's not always possible but we free ourselves of that level of perfection and we know that as long as we do the best that we can and we keep asking ourselves is this of the highest good and we keep trying to achieve this level of awareness from you know operating from from a sense of self of letting ourselves exist more in our through our crown through our spiritual connection and less through our human connections and asking asking for advice from the best coach in the world life coaches are life coaches are not your friend life coaches your best friends will always tell you what to do with your life <laughs> they'll always give you that advice but it's usually based on their emotional experiences of their past life coaches will get you to question you and get you to question yourself so purity rebirth this card is that you're willing and able uh, to challenge yourself to question yourself because you are noticing the places that need nurturing love and the ones that you've now set free and so right here in this rebirth place is that you start to recognize there is a new you that has been born and a new you means that the same you is still present but you're new you're you've awakened to a new day a new moment a new opportunity and that you don't have to be tethered and tied to the past and that just because it's been created I'm gonna say this just because it's been created by God just because it's been created by God doesn't mean that it was it was bought into creation by God so like poppy seeds like poppies are a plant it is beautiful now the intention of a human to create it into something else and then a creation into you know to manipulate Good morning to manipulate or to control or to be able to use it to numb other people or to be able to make money then that takes it into creation of man and the creation of man then affects the that that then affects that then affects man just because it was so that's us so see yourself as that same poppy you were created by by the by the God consciousness whatever it means to you don't be triggered by the word you're you're created by that but just because you're created by that and I write a lot about this in my in my upcoming book um, just because you're created just because you're created by God but then you are taken and you're 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 put into a formulated creation a program or if someone takes that puppy and creates it into another product that's not of God that's not of God that's not of the highest good that's of the imposter light that's of the choice to choose so that's that whole Lucifer energy you have a choice to choose don't make don't make friends with Lucifer <laughs> so I can, don't make friends at the, don't make friends don't make friends at the gates of your choices of light or dark and when you make friends with the dark with what's at the dark you will have to fall from the grace and you'll have to come back into creation and into your creation not into what you have been created into 
you made the choice, you made the decision, but you didn't always create the other part. So you get to choose again. And so this purity is about us being able to return to knowing that the flesh will have those moments and choices. But the purest of you always exists within here and is what we're doing for the pure me. And the more you find the pure you, the happier your life will be, the less isms, the less vices, and the more virtuous life you'll live. And that's a mission of mine, is to live my virtuous life. It doesn't mean it's perfect. It doesn't mean it's virtuous for somebody else. It doesn't mean that it's going to be in alignment to, you know, to a biblical sense of, of somebody who, who's very, very conditioned to a Bible, like the way that you were taught it by somebody, but to my sense of knowing that I have been through the Bible, I have been through life, I have been through ups and downs, I have been through relationships, and I have been, ooh, that's interesting, something just walked right behind me, <laughs> uh, and the wind, oh, I don't know what that was, but, ooh, um, but I kept walking towards the light. So I, one of my biggest virtues is I know where my faith lays and I know the faith in me and I know the strength in me. And so those, those virtues have served me well. And so for that, I strengthen those and I notice the things that make them weak. And if you want to know, if you want to take a bigger, deeper journey with this with me, I suggest, I'm going to give you a suggestion that you can come into the Goddess Within in the More Than Existing Academy of Higher Consciousness. And I'll put the link down below in the YouTube. And the link will be down below and you can look at that link and think for, and think for yourself, choose for you. Don't get caught in the word even goddess or anything like that. We are the everyday goddesses. We are the everyday people. And it's us that have to become that have to become those that choose to do the best that we can to, to be love, support, and kindness and compassion in this world because it's what we need. And we need to free ourselves of all past stories. And, uh, and so, yeah, it's the goddess within. And this, this one is my third series. There's two more that you can, if you want to purchase the bundle, that you can watch the pre-records. And this is the third series that I'll be doing in my Goddess Within. And it's, it is virtues, virtues and vices. And I'm really truly taking you through that journey of, of where we avoid, distract, and what we start to notice when we start to look at our, our virtues of what it is. What is God, the Goddess in you? What is really want, what do we really want? What's of my highest good? And how much am I neglecting, avoiding, rejecting? Uh, and am I giving my attention to places that don't matter? So I hope this serves you well. I hope it resonates with you. And thank you for joining me on this walk today as we went through purity. So purity is purest intentions, pure love, pure energy. And what is in the flesh what is of the soul, what is of the heart, and recognizing that if you think someone is your soulmate and it's not healthy, then the soul doesn't have, soul only has pure thoughts, so it's not of soul, it's of you. <laughs> Good morning. So, much love. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow's walk. Bye-bye.